Hello everybody and welcome to our uh, short videos and tutorials. Uh, today we want to talk about how to make a custom menu uh, in ZBrush. Okay, so let's get started. After that, uh, when you launch the ZBrush, just hit comma on your keyboard to turn off this basically it's a uh, light box and it's control and let's see. okay. Just click and drag, it's basically it's vendor here, hit T to enable edit mode and make polish 3D. So the next step here will be for us to go to the preferences and click on this uh, basically circle here and it docks the preferences menu to the side. So after that we need to go to the config and uh, hit enable customize. The next step is going to the custom uh, UI and create new menu. You can name it my menu and hit enter. Immediately it pops up here, you can see. And when you click on it, you see it disappeared, but it didn't because it's uh, sort out that basically all of the sort out all of the menus uh, alphabet alphabetically. So it's here is after movies, my menu. It depends on your name, the name that you assign to your menu, it can be anywhere here. So try to find it. See, right now it's empty, nothing is in it. So you need to add some content to that. Again, okay, click on the, the, my, uh, your new menu and this option here, you will see it here. So if you want to, for example, add some brushes to our uh, to custom menu, uh, you need to hold Control and Alt and Keyboard and drag the brush that you want here. But right now, see the uh, size of this icon is a little bit too wide and too big. To make it a little bit shorter and smaller so we can have more options in our menu, we need to go to Preferences and here, Interface, UI, and disable this one. See, as soon as I disable it, it becomes smaller and a square. So, uh, let's go back to our brushes. For example, we want to add Control, Alt, Drag, Slender Brush. We want to add Open and Save As from here. Other options that we want, for example, a tool. These are optional. Everything that I'm adding is based on my taste. You can choose whatever. And when you're basically to drag and dropping anywhere in this area of your menu, uh, you can basically change the position and the placement of uh, the buttons. The other one that I want, I'm going to apply and say, let me add it. Currently, a tool, a lower higher subdivision. And it doesn't matter if that option is grayed out right now. You can add it or basically it's enabled. It doesn't matter. You can add anything in this stage that you want. So let's say it's, uh, you add anything that you want, but you can add anything from these menus to your custom menu. And let's say if you want to add it, basic separator and division between uh, some of the options that we have. In the uh, preferences, in the custom UI, these are all of their separator. For example, let's bring up the video here. There you go, see? It separates uh, the brushes from other stuff that you already have. Okay, after that, when you're done, click on this uh, icon here to basically collapse it and close it. So here you see it, the options that you have. The important part right now to save your menu for the next time that uh, you basically open the ZBrush is here. Uh, click on the basically it's click on it to disable the customization and finish it. Say you're done and click store config. It says master, uh, master configuration file has been saved successfully. So every time when you are launching ZBrush in this specific machine, uh, you will see your uh, custom menu. But if you want to use your custom menu and your custom preferences in another machine, you need to save UI and save it somewhere 
that you want and basically you can take it to another machine and easily load it there okay the next step is assigning a short key to our menu that we made but if we go hover over on the menu and alt control and click it says press any key combination to assign uh, basically it's uh, for the hotkey right? let's say K on the keyboard okay it says custom hotkeys then assigned successfully as soon as I come hover over on the basic canvas and hit K on the keyboard see our menu pops up and we have access to the uh, shortcut of the uh, basically buttons that we added to our menu and uh, the last step to save uh, the short key that we assigned to our um, um, uh, new menu which is K on keyboard we need to go to preferences add key and here it hit store and it stores on just this specific machine but if you want to take this uh, basically to custom uh, shortcuts that you made to another machine hit save and you can save the file and then load it on the other machine okay so this was for today and thank you for watching and have a good day